Talking to Tim Tebow. Uh, Tim, uh, and we, we talked a lot uh, over these four or five weeks about the Texas A&M quarterback situation. And, and I, I know you, you're, you're the right guy to ask how a, a player who has struggled can suddenly be lifted up and, and play the game of his life. But uh, how did Zach Calzada do I it? think, first of all, it starts with Jimbo Fisher having a really good game plan. And I think – a good thing or a bad thing, depending how you look at it. I think they've been, they were preparing for Alabama for an entire year. And I really do think they, they didn't probably put in the same focus against Mississippi State and against Arkansas that they did against Alabama. Um, but I think when you talk about Zach Calzada, the difference from Arkansas, Mississippi State to Alabama, it's just, I, I mean, it's crazy. Like, he's a completely different player, and I, I give Jimbo a lot of credit. I think he, he supported him enough through the week where he was able to play with confidence, and I think the first drive of the game changed the whole game. When he was able to drive down, score a touchdown against Bama, I think there's something that clicked in him that said, I can do this. And for the rest of the game, for the most part, he was very efficient. And I also think the way that Jimbo designed plays, you didn't see him necessarily going one, two, three, four. You would see him kind of go to a side. It would be one to two and getting rid of the ball. And I think uh, the offense created a lot of confidence. I think success early created a lot of confidence. And you could see what Jimbo's been talking about. He has talent. But the rest of the pieces just weren't around him, and he, he didn't necessarily have it in him before that, I think with confidence. But you could see the confidence build throughout the game, and confidence changes any player. And it seemed, it seemed like everyone fed off of that because, you know, you have an offensive line that's, that has some really good players, but all of a sudden they were playing at a level that I haven't seen them play. Oh, I th they were so much better than against Mississippi State in Arkansas. The offensive line was being able to pick up blitzes, was working together, um, and did a really good job. There was not a lot of pressure on Zach the entire night. And, and I, I think that also tells me that I think there was just more effort, more critical thinking, more focus put in by A&M into that game. And I also think it helps they were at home. I think they've been preparing for it for a long time. I think Jimbo knows how to coach in some of those big games. He does. And um, I actually think I, I trust Jimbo more in some of the biggest games than some of the ones that he's probably supposed to win. And, um, you know, so when you really look at it, you want to give A&M a lot of credit. But I think it was also shocking how – they were able to turn it so drastically in a week. Well, I've sat with you uh, countless weeks, and you've talked about, you know, I mean, I remember a couple weeks ago uh, a game that, that they lost, and you, before the game, you said, I think Jimbo will do that. And, of course, I'm looking, at this, and I followed you down the road now, <laughs> so that didn't happen. But it did happen this time because he is that good. Uh, conversely, let me ask you about Alabama. Uh, you didn't come off of many losses in your career. Uh, in college, uh, and, ne and neither has Alabama. They usually come back re really well. They will. I, I think uh, – I don't think it really changes much for college football. I, I really don't. I think it changes a lot for a and M. I I think Alabama still um, – besides these guys, I think Alabama's still the best team, if not the second best team in college football behind Georgia. I mean, you're going to tell me the got teams in front of them, Iowa, Cincinnati, or Oklahoma is better than Alabama? Like, it's just – we, we all know if they played on a neutral field, they're just not going to beat them, and they're not as good. And I think Alabama will, cons will show up. They have too many playmakers. It was a perfect storm at a hostile environment where most of the plays went A&M's way and everything went against Bama. And I also think they just showed up and, and kind of thought, you know what? The a and team just got killed by Mississippi State. They're not that good. And that affects especially 18 to 22-year-olds it absolutely can change the th things. I mean, you know, I know in my own career when we didn't show up with the same focus, but then you would go to a Death Valley and you knew, hey, we got to be prepared. And it's different. And so I think for Alabama, you're going to see, I, I think they awoke a sleeping giant. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.